Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on universal gates in digital logic design for our switching TV and logic design. So NAND and NOR gates are called as universal gates because any logic gate can be implemented by using these two gates. Hence, we can say that NAND and NOR gates are called as universal gate gates. Okay. So here, implementation of all gates using NAND gate. By using this NAND gate, we are implementing the AND gate, we are implementing the OR gate, we are implementing the NOT gate, we are implementing the NOR gate, we are implementing the XR gate and exclusive NOR gate. So all the gates are implemented by using only one gate. That gate is called as non-NAND gate. Hence, we can say that NAND gate is called as a universal gate. Okay. So first one is AND gate. So A and B are applied to the AND gate. Then we are getting the output AB whole bar. This AB whole bar can be again applied to the NAND gate. So then we are getting the output AB. AB is the output of AND gate. Okay. Next. Second one is OR gate. Here one input A can be applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting the output A bar. Second input B applied to only one NAND gate. Then we are getting B bar. A bar and B bar again applied to the AND gate. Then we are getting A plus B. So this is the output of OR gate. Next, third one is NOT gate. So NOT gate applied only on one input. So A is an input. That input applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting A complement. So A bar is the output of NOT gate. Okay, next one, NOR gate. So one input A can be applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting output A bar. One input B applied to one NAND gate. Then we are getting B bar. So again, this output and this output can be applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting uh, a plus B, this is same. Okay, after that, this output can be again applied to the hand gate. Then we are getting the, so A plus B whole bar. So this is the output of the NAR gate. Okay, next one, exclusive NAR or XR gate. Okay, so one in A and B are two inputs applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting A B whole bar. Okay, so here this input is up, one input is applied to the NAND gate and the second input is the uh, output of this gate that is AB whole bar. The, from these two inputs after applying the NAND gate then we are getting so A into AB whole bar. Okay, the second input B is applied to one input for the NAND gate. And this output again applied to this NAND gate. Then we are getting the output B into AB whole bar. So this output and this output can be applied to the NAND gate as two inputs. Then we are getting the output A bar B plus AB bar. This is the output of exclusive OR gate. Okay. Next. Exclusive NOR gate or XNOR gate. Okay. A and B are applied as two inputs for the NAND gate. That is, we are getting the output AB whole bar. Next, only input A is applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting A bar output. Only B is applied as an input for the NAND gate. That is, we are getting the output B bar. This A bar and B bar can be applied to the NAND gate. Then we are getting A plus B. Here we are getting A, B whole bar. Here we are getting A plus B. These two inputs are applied to another NAND gate. 
So then we are getting the output AB plus AB whole power. So that is equal to A exclusive naught B. So this is a A exclusive R B. Okay. So A exclusive naught B is the output of exclusive naught gate. Okay. In this way, by using this NAND gate, we are implementing all gates. AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NOR gate, exclusive OR gate, exclusive NOR gate. Hence, we can say that, so, hence we can say that NAND is a universal gate. NAND is a universal gate. Okay, next, implementation of all gates using NOR gate. Here NOR gate is also called as universal gate because by using NOR gate we have to implement all gates such as AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, exclusive NOR gate, exclusive OR gate. Hence we can say that NOR gate is also called as universal gate. NOR gate is also called as universal gate. How we are implementing all gates by using NOR gate? Okay, first one is AND gate. Here input A is applied to the NOR gate. So then we are getting the output A bar. Input B is applied to the separate NOR, NOR gate then we are getting the output B bar. So this A bar output and B bar output can be sent to the another NOR gate as inputs. Then we are getting the output A bar plus B bar whole bar that is equal to AB. This is the output of AND gate. Next one. Second one is OR gate. A and B are inputs that are applied to one NOR gate. Then we are getting the output A plus B whole bar. Again, this output can be sent as input, send as input to the another NOR gate. Then we are getting A plus B whole bar whole bar that is equal to A plus B. This is the output of the OR gate. Next one, NOT gate. So A is only one input is applied to the uh, NOR gate as two inputs, then we are getting the A bar into A bar, that is A bar. This is the output of the NOT gate. Next one, NAND gate. So A, uh, A is applied as two inputs to the NOR gate, then we are getting A bar. B is applied as two inputs for the NOR gate, then we are getting the output B bar. This A bar output and B bar output can be sent as input to the another uh, NOR gate. Then we are getting AB. This AB as two inputs can be applied to the another NOR gate. Then we are getting AB bar. So the AB bar is the output of the NAND gate. Next one, exclusive NOR gate or X NOR gate. Okay. A and B are two inputs applied to the NOR gate. Then we are getting A plus B whole bar. Again, input A and A plus B bar are, are applied as two inputs for the another NOR gate. Then we are getting A plus A plus B whole bar whole bar. Next, B input and this output can be sent as two inputs for the another NOR gate. Then we are getting B plus a plus B bar and whole bar. So then we are getting AB plus AB whole bar. So this is the output of exclusive NOR gate. Next one, XR gate or ex exclusive R gate. So A and B are two inputs are applied as applied to the one X, one NOR gate. Then we are getting the A plus B whole bar and A is input to input to the another NOR gate as two inputs then we are getting A bar output. B is applied to another NOR gate as two inputs then we are getting B bar. This A bar output and B bar output applied to the another NOR gate we are getting A bar plus B bar 
whole bar. Next one, this output and this output can be send to the another NOR gate as two inputs. Then we are getting A bar B plus A B bar. So this is the this is the A exclusive or B. Okay, this is the output of exclusive OR gate and this is the output of exclusive NOR gate. Okay, so by using this NOR gate, we have to implement all gates such as AND gate, OR gate, NOT gate, NAND gate, exclusive NOR gate, exclusive OR gate. Hence, we can say that NOR gate is also called as universal gate. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel. So, Dibbela Srinivasarao.